Hey there, this is Todd at BizLadder. In this video, we're going to talk about repeaters in the Wix platform. What's a repeater? Okay, a repeater is a list of items that you want to have the same design and layout, but different content. And you want to be able to easily add and manage and manipulate these on your website. So, for example, on this website, we've got these different uh, sections here. It's basically the same layout. We're a little different up here but different content. And perhaps most importantly, I'm in full screen here. Watch what happens when I resize dramatically. Watch what happens to this two column format here. This is Editor X, obviously. See how they resized into a single column? A repeater will do that for you automatically. You don't have to install the responsive action or the, or the updated breakpoints. The repeater is gonna do that for you. And you can update how that flex system uh, resizes and how it behaves, how it reorganizes, I should say when it's resized. All right, so that's an example of a live, uh, a live repeater. Let's go ahead and jump into how to add a new one and then how to work with a repeater once it's installed. This is all gonna be superficial. Well, not superficial. This is all gonna be high level, let's put it that way. And obviously a lot more detail can be found and can be tapped into with repeaters, but we're gonna stick to high level for this video. So let's go to this blank site, just a little test editor X site that I use. And we're gonna add an element. You can also do that from the plus symbol up here. Let's add an element. You can see it's already there. It's under layout tools, repeaters. We're just gonna add a blank one. They have some predefined formats if those work better for you. But we're just gonna drag and drop this one here. We'll have it fill up the screen. And then you can see we can change the type of repeater that it is. Is it a list? Is it a slider? Which I don't recommend. Is it just grid cells? Those are kind of specialized. Most of the time you're gonna be inside a card or a list. And then you can just simply add elements to that repeater. And we'll see what happened. As soon as I added a text element, it added it to every single one of those items inside the repeater. So you add it once, it adds it everywhere. If I wanna move it, no, that goes over here. Oh, it moved everywhere. So you set one cell, one item, and it updates the entire repeater. So that's, that's scratching the surface on how to initially add your repeater. You're going to have to play with uh, exactly what you want in there and how you want it to look and ultimately how you want it to be formatted. List of cards, you can see how that changes things. Same, same rules apply, it changes it around. So let's jump into a site that already has a repeater and talk about how to edit and add items once you're inside that repeater. So again, this is always Editor X we're talking about here. Some of this will apply in editor, but not all of it. All right, so here's a list of services and prices. We've got a whole bunch of stuff in here. See, each service category has its own section. See, page section. Let's go back up top here. And then within that section, we've got a repeater. I'm using the breadcrumb trail here to hop out of this item that I clicked in and then select repeater. There are lots of ways to get to that. You can use your layers panel uh, over here. See so repeaters and items. You can see I'm just clicking around. Oh, well, jump this down one, no problem, that's fine. So we're inside the repeater. It's always either easier in Wix, Editor or Editor X, to duplicate or recreate, don't generate, all right? If you're creating something from scratch and you're generating it, it's always gonna be more difficult than if you just recreate or duplicate. There are exceptions. Go ahead and put them in the comments. Uh, but in general, just duplicate it, recreate it. So let's say I wanna add another item inside my browse services here. I'll click in, I'll get to the repeater. I'll click manage items. You see, I've got a list here. I can duplicate these. created a copy and you can see down here it's now created a copy here all right so you're going to be going to want to be careful about spacing inside the inside the section with minimums you know, we're in our section here if I go back to my repeater okay, so we've got a little bit of overlap here so you want to be careful about that but once it's added once the item is added to the repeater it's just a matter of editing text. And that's just like any other P 
piece of the uh, of a Wix website editor or editor X. You just simply go in there, edit what you need to. Yeah, for example, all right. So let's back out all that. This is a real site. We're not going to mess things up here. Well, I'll let the editor catch up, and then we'll, we'll back out of that. So that's how you add repeaters. That's how you work with an existing repeater, add items, add rows. We didn't talk about deleting, but I don't know if you saw inside the repeater, manage items. There is a delete button there. So you see we delete right there. So that's it. Any questions, reach out.